What's up, family members and victims? Ace right here. In today's video, I'll be going over pretty much what I did in my other video, but actually showing you clips of it actually happening. In my video, I said the fuse box needs some changes. Well, here's a fuse box escape in literally 159. Under two minutes, I get out of this game. Granted, Connie is pretty powerful, but the fuse box is just... It doesn't matter. Fuse box is so good. I could have got, got out even faster if it wasn't for Leatherface being right there. And I could have... I didn't know I was going to be doing a speedrun in this game either. I didn't go on with the mindset to speedrun. It just happened. I mean, you could see right there. The fuse was literally five steps away from the fuse box. Like I said in my video, my suggestion would be locking the fuse behind a door. So it would just require another lockpick to hope to get a fuse or the water valve we'll have a water valve clip in this video but it's a really simple solution and also i think family members should be able to hit the fuse maybe or the fuse just deactivates after the first one and here's another fuse box clip that's playing at three times speed in the background i get out in just a little over three minutes i didn't really try to speed run this one i don't go in the mindset to speed run every single game it just happens but this one's on Family House, so I thought I would leave it in here. I just go and simply open this door, and the fuse box spawns 10 steps away this time. Oh boy. The simple solution, put it behind a locked door where it requires me to lockpick my way through and get a fuse. I don't think there should be multiple fuses in the game, but have them all behind a separate locked door. Very simple solution. I don't see what the issue is with this idea. And then the fuse will... Uh just go away after using it once i i think my suggestion is really valid i mean you look we're we're, we're out three minutes and then now we're going to go over to the water valve all right so now we're going to talk about the water valve but I, I just realized i didn't talk about the fuse box on solar house it's just it's just as bad as probably the least guilty of the three of the maps but in this uh clip right here they get the valve open in 140 that's ridiculous i literally check on it 10 seconds ago you'll see me run up to it and check it it there's nothing there here we go nothing there valve isn't in and now we're gonna place a trap and you're gonna hear my reaction bro okay. Yeah, me and my friend were not amused. They got the valve open in 140 because I knew what happened next. You can see there, I try to turn off. I get stabbed in the back. And then another one, my friend tries to do it. So I'm going to body block them. You could see right there really quick in the back right corner. They have a bone shard spawn right next to the water valve. So they can just get infinite amounts of bone shards. You can see Connie was already out by this time. She had both doors unlocked probably because of her amazing ability of instant breaking a lock which i do think should be changed to just summoning a lock pick out of thin air i think it'll be a much better solution uh and now the water valve reactivates again so i have to run back over there and you can see they even stepped on my trap it doesn't matter they they can just rush the action i don't think they should be able to rush the action now and then they just get out because i can't turn off in time it's i yeah it's worse on Slaughterhouse too. It is very bad on Slaughterhouse. And here we have me getting stunned for a while. You can see I knock him down here. I'm going to go try and get a rev off and hit him. I It doesn't work for some reason. And then I get stunned. Uh, the thing I suggested in the video is whenever a victim or family member gets knocked over by a door, the door will just break. Now, just remember, it's very easy to loop a leather face in the basement. All you need is one strong wall. They're on every single map. One strong wall he can't do anything against. So I don't I don't I don't know why people are like you need you need defense in the basement, so I'd leave the doors in. No, they're just using the same door to stun me over and over again and the bow knives. Leatherface does need some stun resistance or something since he's just getting bullied. He is the face of this game. I don't know why no one likes playing him. Well, you know what? He gets stunned like this and bullied. Like I said, my suggestion, stun resistance, door breaks whenever it hits a victim or a family member. There's a lot of doors on the map. You don't need just one. I don't think I have one, but I have a water valve clip. I'm playing family and playing Leatherface, and here's more of my door problems. I do mind game them and I get a hit here, so you know what? Well played by me. I got a big rev hit. Doesn't matter because the door still works. 
But I just want to show you, they, they get the water valve going in 2 minutes and 20 seconds. It is very problematic on this map. For the reason being, you kind of need to send two family members down in the basement, and it leaves one family member upstairs trying to guard three exits, which is it's just impossible. So you, I'm just leaving this in here, so you can see it was roughly 2 minutes and 22 seconds when they got it done. And yeah, I'm just going around. I didn't see it right here, but they I could see the water route was missing, and they activated So right here, I'm going to put it at 1.5 times speed. They got the water valve going. I have to run to the basement. I call over my friend who is playing the hitchhiker to try and stop it. I see the Ana that is around guarding it with a bone knife because bone knives always spawn near the water valve, which is ridiculous because they just sneak attack you when you're trying to close it. So I try to go find her, try and kill her. I can't really do it. The water valve needs to be shut off. I try to body block my friend. Maybe I didn't do the best job right there, but I, they get it either way. The water valve opens, so I know the only thing I can really do now is try and guard the gate. The reason why it's so overpowered on Slaughterhouse is because you really need two people to go in the basement to defend it. And you can have only one person upstairs to try and, you know, guard the other three exits, which is just impossible. I completely whiffed that chainsaw rev. That's on me. But I still have a chance to catch her, right? You know what? She's going to run out of stamina. I'm right behind her. I can catch her here. Oh, wait. There's a Leland with an ability. <laughs> eh, that didn't feel great. Well, the other two didn't make it out, so I have to run back down to the basement. And they got it done. I actually, I actually kill her here, I think. Yes, I actually knock her down, but she's incapacitated. I never find her. You can see, big hit. Victim bleeds out. No idea where she is. Actually, she bleeds out right here. I have no idea where she went. It's so dark in the basement. The VAR valve is still going, by the way. I need to try and shut that off. I can't find her to finish her off the kill. Ana does recover really fast from being incapacitated because she has very high toughness. I literally can't find her anywhere. It's... My teammate gets a kill. She's probably long gone. She And she does get out in this clip. Like I said earlier in my video, my suggestion would be to have it not spawn in the basement on this map. And have the water valve locked behind a door. And have a bone shard not spawn near it. I feel like those aren't really crazy things. It's just... They're, the counterplay just wasn't great right there. I, I, there's nothing I could do. Bone shard spawns right there. She's camping it. I can't kill her. I even hit her with a big rev here, but she has her ability and she gets out. So that's going to be the end of the video. Please let me know what you think of the changes. And now that I've presented them to you, what do you, what do you, what do you think overall? So if you did like the video, please drop a like. Subscribe if you want more daily TCM content. I stream over on Twitch five to seven days a week. I'm trying to do some lengthy streams. I'm going to get a schedule out for you real soon so I can be more consistent. But yeah. I hope you have a great day. Peace.